what's up people it feel like it's been a while and i think it only been a week i checked my thing i said let me see how long it's been since i've been on youtube and it said a week ago it feel longer than that because i only i you i was recording back to back but it's all right um but today I am going to do a video, but I'm doing a full course meal. It's been a while since I brought y'all in the kitchen with me and cook. So we're going to cook today, okay? Um, today we're doing stuffed bear peppers. We're going to do cabbage. And we're going to do some yams. And I made some um, blueberry muffins. And I bet, listen y'all, your girl been in. Y'all been missing out. I... I'm so sorry I wasn't recording, but I've been in here and I just been getting my skills and just, you know what I'm saying, making it better. So I've been in my kitchen and I've been practicing and I've been practicing and I'm getting good at everything I'm doing now, y'all. I've been good. <laughs> Hold up. I've been good, but um, I'm just making it better. But um, your girl been when baking. Listen, I, I was baking bread, but I think I threw it away. Yep. I threw it away. I wanted to show y'all my bread. Yep, I'm your girl making sub sandwich breads. Um, I made uh blueberry cinnamon rolls from scratch. Um, listen, I've been busy. Okay, but um, uh, back to the subject. So yes, we doing cabbage. We doing stuffed bell peppers, and we are doing uh, what did I say? Candy yams. And I already made the blueberry muffin, so I'm gonna do a video with you guys on that. But um, yes, I got that too. So about to get ready and show you your ingredients and everything that you're gonna need. I miss y'all. Y'all miss me. I miss y'all. But um, all right. So let's get with it. All right. So of course you're gonna need your ground beef. Okay, so I got some bell peppers. Y'all know I order offline. If you watch my videos, you know I order offline. Y'all, I'm kind of getting tired of this order offline because stuff don't come right. So when I do my bell peppers, I like to cut this top. This oh, hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. I like to cut this top off right there. And then when it finished baking, I like to put that back on it. At the, you know what I'm saying? Just for decoration to make it cute. But because of this, look at this. I can't, y'all, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That ain't going to stand. You know, like, they wrong for that. So I can't, um, I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to have to just cut it from that bottom part or whatever. All right, so you're going to need your meat, hamburger meat, uh, your bad peppers. You're going to need some um, sauce. I use the spaghetti sauce. Um, they were supposed to send me two of them, but they substituted out, gave me this, but it is what it is. I can still do what I do. Um, I like to put rice with mine. Y'all probably like, ooh, shoot. But yeah, I like to put rice with mine, y'all. I got to, them big boys. So I'm putting a little bit of rice in it because I'm already going to eat rice with the cabbage. All right. So for the cabbage, you need your cabbage, of course. Um, get you some bacon, all right? And I like to put onion and bell pepper in mine too, all right? And then, of course, your seasons, okay? So, and then for my yams, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. The stuffed bell peppers, you're going to need the cheese too. I use sharp, sharp cheddar cheese, mozzarella, and I like to put that provolone across the top of it, okay? And, um, excuse me, guys, I'm over here in digestion. Um, and then your brown sugar, you need your brown sugar for your yams, some banana flavor, lemon, cinnamon, sugar, all right? So I think I got everything up here. Um, my muffins is in the refrigerator. When we get to that, I'll pull it out. Like I said on another video, I'm going to show you on another video how to do that, okay? All right, so let's get to it. I've been talking enough. All right, first thing we're going to do, y'all, we're going to get started on the stuffed bell peppers. I'm going to put your meat in there. I just like, so I like to put a little bit of meat in there because 
I'm going to put the onion and bell pepper in there. But I'm gonna, I need like a little bit of the, um, what you call it? Lord, y'all, I'm so sorry. I need a little bit of the fat from out of the hamburger meat to kind of go ahead and get a little juice, a little flavor going with the um, onion and bell pepper. So I just put a little bit in there first. Right, we're gonna get it stirred up now. This hamburger meat ain't really gonna make too much of it because I got the lean. Yeah, like I told y'all, I'm on the diet. I was supposed to come back and do the video with you guys on the weight loss journey. I'm so sorry, y'all. I am not consistent, and um, I am praying for consistency, but <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to jump on a whole nother project in the kitchen. I'm always in the kitchen. But, um, alright, so, I'm going to let that get in there real good. We got a little juice in there. Just a little something. Alright. Alright, so, I'm going ahead and put the rest in there, y'all. Now, y'all know I got a big family. I got five boys. They daddy, too, himself. Let me stop. He is to himself. Oh my god. Alright, y'all. So we gonna first thing first, you wanna go ahead, get your ground beef real good and cooked, okay? We're gonna go ahead and season our meat. Put you some Creole in there. You season it to your liking. However much season you like, you do it. Alright, onion powder. I got my season coming soon to you guys. My season is coming soon. I usually don't spill the beans until it is in process, honey. And it is in process. So what God has for me is for me. What God has for you is for you. Alright, so let me turn this up a little bit because it ain't sizzling enough for me. I like to hear that sizzle. I like to hear that sizzle, and it ain't sizzling enough. All right, we're going to get this ground beef cooked down real good. Then we're going to go, I'm going to take y'all to the next step. You start? All right, y'all, so we're going to cut up this cabbage. All right, while that hamburger meat is over there getting done and sizzling, I'm going to go ahead and get my cabbage. I mean, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> my cabbage chopped up it all get it ready now I'm gonna chop it up real fine because I only brought one head of cabbage so we're gonna get it chopped up real good and then after that we're gonna go rinse it all get it cleaned up I'm going Put your stuff, don't just go on and cook your stuff, clean it too. Alright, so let's get, we're gonna get this chopped up real good, then I'm gonna take you over to the pot. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get the bacon fried. Some people use ham, whatever meat you prefer. Alright y'all, we're going to get this bacon fried up. Alright, so we done got the bacon brown a little bit. I'm going to take and go ahead and put my onion and, and bell pepper in there. Got to hear the sizzle. Alright, so we're going to take that. 
put that to the side. Take that out. Put it to the side. You're going to add your cabbage and all of that good stuff in there. You're going to let that cabbage fry. Don't put no water in it. It'll make its own little water and, and gravy or whatever you want to call it. It'll make its own little stuff. Alright? Get this cabbage and make sure, like I say, rinse your cabbage off. in there. This might look like a lot of cabbage, but once it's put down, it won't be a lot. But it's just enough because my kids don't eat leftovers, so that is just enough. I didn't like cabbage when I was younger. I started eating cabbage as I got older. You know, as you get older, your taste buds change. So, all right. All right, so I'm going to turn it up. We're going to let this cabbage fry, get cooked real good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to our... Um, hamburger meat for the stuffed air peppers matter of fact no we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um do the yams so we can go ahead and get them in the oven all right so just preheat your oven um i usually put my yams on uh for 435 go ahead and put that oven on 435 let it go ahead and start getting preheated um the cabbage i'm sorry hold on y'all i'm going too fast let me put some just put a little salt all right, little Creole. Y'all know I'm a Creole girl. Onion powder, and you want to put a pinch of sugar. It's something about that salt and that sugar together, baby. Right, stir that up real good. Gonna let it cook a little bit down, and then that's when we're gonna add put our bacon and stuff back in it. And let me get it cooked down some. I'm gonna cover it up and we're gonna come back to this. All right, so I already done cut them up, you guys. First, we're gonna put a little bit of regular sugar on it. Well, not a little bit, but yeah. It, when with your yams, it will make its own water. Don't put no water in the yams. It makes its own, okay? And you might be looking like, damn, there's a lot of sugar, but it's really not, okay? And I usually use the, the dark brown sugar, but this is fine for now because I don't have any. All right. So... And when you're doing this, if your hand, make sure your hands clean. Wash your hands, okay? Cause you're gonna put, you gonna use your hand with this. I don't want this sink in it. All right. So sugar, sit, um, brown sugar, cinnamon. Now I usually put pineapples in it, but I'm gonna just. Use some lemon for now. I don't have the pineapple. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice over it. Okay? Get that knife to kind of help it. Oh, Lord. I got a cut on my hand, y'all. And it is burning with this lemon. All right. All right. Then we're going to get it. Ooh, I'm going to rip it off. Ooh, it's burning. 
All right, then we're gonna put some vanilla flavor in it. Like I say, you do not wanna add no water in it because it will make its own water. Just sprinkle that vanilla flavor on it. You probably want like a teaspoon and a half, okay? All right, then you're gonna get your butter, put your butter in it. Um, a half a cup of butter will be perfect, okay? Y'all probably like, girl, that ain't no half a cup, that's a whole cup. Yep, you are right, so put you a whole cup of butter. <laughs> it's all right, it's okay. Then you take your finger, I know this looks so messy, y'all, but my hands is clean, okay? But get your finger in, and go on in there and get that stuff in there real good, all right? If I if I was cooking for people other than my kids, I wouldn't do this. So I don't want y'all, oh, I ain't all that right. No, I don't do this. It's only when I'm cooking for my family. When, when, when you cooking for people and stuff, you have to practice um, safety. You have to practice health hazards. You know, you you all of that is very important when you playing a role, when you are, you know what I'm saying, preparing food and cooking for people. It's just some do's and don'ts that you just can't do. Like you, it's certain, like the way I season my food for my house, when we eating, I can't season it like that. Cause when you cooking for people, a lot of people don't eat a lot of salt and season. So you gotta put, enough where they can taste it but if they want more it's always better for them to add it versus you overdoing it all right so i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon in it right then i'm gonna go cross it one more time with a little sugar are going to be so delicious if I if I had if you got some pineapples cook it with some pineapples baby when I'm talking about the bomb the bomb I even saw somebody put raisins I ain't doing all that now but yeah if you want to put raisins that's totally fine you want to put pineapples that's perfect all right so we're gonna get this covered up put this in the oven and we'll be back all right, so now we're gonna add our rice in here. Now it's up to you. You do not have to add rice, okay? It's up to you. I like to add rice, kind of stretch it some. Y'all know I'm all about stretching with these boys, so. Yeah, it's just not, not too much though, just enough, just a little bit. Alright, get that rice nice in there, and then we're going to go ahead and add our sauce. Alright, so we're going to add our sauce. And always, if you can, give your food a taste test. Mmm. I need a little bit more Creole. A little bit more. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and add our salt. You know what? I'm going to put some tomato in it too, y'all. Never mind, though. I got a picky son. He's so picky. If he see what he don't eat in it, he ain't going to eat it. And I ain't got time for that because he going to eat today. All right. And you want it saucy, okay? You want it saucy. Mm. 
right. Get that soles nice and mixed up in there. And I like to cut fresh bear pepper, even though it cooked in there. I like to put bear more bear pepper and onion on top of this. All right, you guys. So I just put the uh, onion and fresh onion and bear pepper in it. I don't want it to cook down too much because I want it to cook um, in the oven like that. All right, so I'm gonna add. We're gonna add the, uh, a little bit of cheese in here with this, and then we're gonna stuff the bear pepper. All right, so we're putting cheese in here. good now we're gonna stuff it in the peppers okay I'm gonna go over here rinse these peppers off and cut them and then we're gonna stuff it all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and stuff the peppers Try to do it over the pot. I was about to do it just over there, but I'm gonna make a mess. So I'll do it over the pot so I don't make a mess. So I don't make a mess. Now I usually have some left over and not enough peppers. So what I do with that extra is save it and make it and put it in tortilla wrap. It's just a little one, y'all. I just, just a little one. <laughs> a little something extra. This one gonna tail over a little bit. All right. Like I said, with the extra, you could use it and put it in a tortilla wrap. Try to stuff it as much as I can, Burning my hand. All right, so put just some cheese, put that cheese on there. Me and my best friend made these one night when i say we probably had brought about 15 bear peppers she got four boys and i got four boys and lord they didn't even save none y'all me and her we cooked for them then we stepped out on the town and came back all the dog on food was gone 
We 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 done been drinking. We come back for some food and it's gone. They done ate it all. Alright, so this is the mozzarella cheese. Put that mozzarella over there. Nah. You know your um you know the, the inside and everything that's inside the bear pepper is already cooked. So you don't have to have it on too long. I cook mine for 15 minutes. In the oven. All right. Then I'm going to take this provolone cheese and put across the top. And that's going to melt across there. It's going to be so delicious. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share. I got more recipes coming for you guys. I was like, I don't want to be giving them my recipes. And this job is for free. But it's alright. Gotta pay me back. It's helping somebody who can cook. Cook. And I didn't mean that in a mean way. <laughs> My son is over here not trying to laugh at me. I didn't mean that in a mean way. Like, you know. Hey, I go to YouTube for uh, re recipes. So, it's nothing wrong with that. Alright. So, we going to put this in the oven. And, let me show you when it come out. Alright, back to our cabbage. Alright, we going to go ahead and add this back in it. The bacon and the um, onion and bell peppers. Right, get that nice and stirred and cooked in there real good. Let all that saute together. All right, you guys. So we're gonna let everything cook, and then we'll be back to show you the finished touchings of everything. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I um I got some big things coming to YouTube. A whole total change. Um, yes, it's coming. I'm not going to speak on what it is, but it is coming. And um, for those who do watch, and I am re doing rehearsal. If you saw my other videos, I'm doing rehearsal because don't nobody really watch me. So I'm rehearsal, re doing my rehearsal so when people do watch me. But um, <laughs> yes, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all the love and the support. Everybody who always comment down below. Thank you so much. All right, and I'll be back at the end with the finished touching night. Comment, subscribe, share. Oh, y'all, okay, this is my blueberry muffin. I put it in this butter uh, bowl. All right, so I'm putting it in here. We're going to put it in the oven, but I'm going to show y'all the recipe to it. One of these days. I think I put too much. I don't want it to overflow in the oven. I always have something overflowing in the bottom of the oven. I clean the dog on the bottom of the oven. Just by every dog on day. Because I'm always baking. Okay. All right, you guys. Those are my blueberry muffins, and they are so delicious. I know y'all probably like, dang, got a full course meal tonight. Yes. All right. Ooh. You want the sweat? Ooh. Give me that sweat. <laughs>
I don't even know what these be saying, y'all. What they be saying. But yes, look at them. Mm. Come on. Mm. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Yay. Okay. One more pussy. Ooh. Come on. And this is how you want your yams. Looking like candy coated nights. Yay. You want to sweat? Come on. All right, so I'm about to get ready to do an old plate for y'all. Come on. Mmm. Yeah. You want to sway? Ah, you want to? Oh, okay. All right, so I'm about to put a old plate. And I'll be back. O-M-G. You want to sway? Come on. Look, y'all. Listen, and I love the colors. I love colors. Especially in my food. I love colors. Thank you guys for tuning in. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. It looks good. And it tastes good, I promise you. My food will never let you down. Priceless Creations is the movement. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you. God bless. And tune in again. Y'all guys be good. Remember to comment down below and let me know what you think.